what we have here is a Burns Brian May guitar in Sunburst and I don't know if that pick guard is original it looks really cool the tortoise shell pick guard uh, these have an ebony fingerboard locking tuners and you kind of see them in two varieties. There's the ones made by Burns in the UK. And then there's the newer ones made by Brian May's own company. They're very similar guitars though. I think the bridge is a little different on the, uh, the newer Brian May version. I am sighting down the neck. These have somewhat wide necks on them. And you can usually get them real flat and they play pretty well with low action most times I've found. This one doesn't have too much relief. It's kind of nice and flat already. I don't think I'm going to have to even turn the truss rod most likely. Usually I fret on the 17th and then check on the 8th. This neck is a two octave neck. It doesn't meet the body at the 17th. It's kind of higher up. So another way you can do it is just We'll fret on the 24th and check on the 12th. That should work. And it's, I found it's uh, got very little relief. It's 0 .003 is the relief on this. Let's check the action first and see where that's at. 0 .00, uh, .060 and then gets a little higher on the, um, the bass strings. Let's check for some buzz here. I need to retune, but sounding pretty good. But I want to bring some of those strings down if possible. What I did off camera there for a second was I just adjusted the saddle height uh, to 060 at the 12th fret. So it's a good height in my mind. And now checking the low frets. Just a little bit of buzz. On those low strings. And that's probably why they were adjusted higher before. I'm gonna see if I loosen that truss rod maybe half a turn if it gets rid of some of that buzz. This has one of those truss rods that's tucked away a little bit under the nut. You can see it there, I think. But you just get your Allen in there and give it a little turn to loosen. Of course, this is gonna raise up our action now. Okay. That's probably three quarters of a turn there. We'll see if that was too much. I had to move the strings out of the way to get at that truss rod. So now I will tune back up and see where the relief is at now and see if we're still getting some buzz down there. So I checked the relief off camera and it's now 0 .007, which is a place I like to land. That's at least a little bit of relief in that neck. And now I'm playing on the low frets. Oops. Much better. So it's gotten rid of that buzz, but I'm sure it's raised up our action. So we're at 070 instead of 060. So if I bring the action down. We'll see if we still get the buzz. We set the action after we set it. Tune up again. Still doing pretty good. Might be where we need to be. to restring this with nines. Had tens on there, 
but I seem to recall that almost all of these Ryan May guitars I've had before have nines on them and I did a little look up on the internet and Brian May's Guitar Tech uh, suggests nines so I'm gonna see if that helps me a little bit with this guitar uh, just came across one thing is taking off the old strings usually all you got to do these are self, like self-locking tuners they're the kind where you once you start tightening up uh, the string on the post it just locks automatically um, so when you loosen them that lock kind of un, undoes itself automatically and they mostly pop out the B string gave me a little problem I had loosened it like all the other strings but it did not just pop out so if you've got one that sticks in there like that get a flat head and it's the opposite of what you think it's not lefty loosey to loosen it if you've got tension and you need to loosen it you, you actually just give it a little tiny turn to the right at least that's what worked for me and then the, the string just popped out since I'm in here changing the strings I'm just gonna take a look at this bridge and you can see it's got two posts there that you can adjust with uh, an Allen wrench and they were sitting up pretty high and thus this bridge was sitting up pretty high and I'd prefer it to sit a little lower so what I did was just did a few turns on these to bring them down and now when I put the new strings on hopefully this thing will be sitting a little bit lower here so just to reiterate with the Brian May when you're stringing it up you don't really need to mess with the uh, screw on the top of the tuner just route it through almost all the way through and by the way when you're trying to get it through the post initially it may not want to go through there at first and you may need to turn this round with your hand and muck with it a little bit because there's a locking mechanism in there that gets in the way there we go so just turn it until you can get the string through the post pull it almost all the way through I don't I like to leave a little bit of slack maybe you get half a I'll wrap on the post that way and as you tighten it up it will automatically lock it may take a second for it to catch like it just did there but there's nothing you need to do to manually make that tuner lock. It just does it as you tighten it up. So the setup is finished on this Brian May. I have to be honest and say it was not the easiest setup. I probably had four or five of these um, throughout the last few years. So I'm no expert at setting up this guitar, but I will say they are a little finicky. Um, it seemed to work better with nines. So I've got nine gauge strings on there uh, tens I could not get to work really um, where I ended up with relief was about 0 .006 so they really these necks really seem to want to be pretty flat with very little relief 0 .006 even 0 .005 somewhere in there I think you're going to have your best um, luck and uh, what I found with this one was I was not able to get away with action quite as low as I normally am and it may just be this particular guitar I've got here the other thing is um, the the tremolo systems on these seem to like to make the strings go sharp that's one thing I'm noticing if you're doing any tuning um, you tune one string and uh, other strings will go sharp. Um, I ended up with all five springs back there and tightened down about that much and the trim is stiff but you can you can bend it. Um, I don't know if there's other better ways to set up this tremolo. Uh, this one is set up like this so it's floating and you can bend it both ways. I usually prefer to um, set a trim flat to the body so you can only bend downward and you can't 
can't go both ways just because there's less chance to go out of tune that way but this one even even when I adjusted the screws that are hidden under here it's a two-point system and for some reason they decided to set it so the screws are hidden underneath the bridge so you need to take it all the way apart to get at those other than that I think that's about it if even one person you know finds this video and it makes their setup on one of these a little easier uh, it will have been worthwhile they're nice guitars but um, sometimes the setup on them can get a little involved.